have a car full of bottles. We're going to cash them in, and then we're going to go shopping. So we just made $45.50 off the cans, which is just the cans from um, around home. Mind you, I haven't taken them in for a while. But, um, yeah, let's see if we can buy some Hot Wheels or something. I don't think we'll find much, but we'll go and have a look. I'm at a Target. It's a fairly new or newly renovated store. I've already been to Toy World. And you can sort of tell by the way everything is on the pegs that, yeah, there wasn't a real lot there. I grabbed a couple. Here's the Corvettes. They're always there. Monster trucks. Five packs. No Fast and Furious in amongst them. Ultra Hots. 35 bucks for Ultra Hots. Mm. It's pretty expensive. 10 packs. Oh, I checked them out. There wasn't anything there that sort of caught my eye. I did see these, and I thought these might be good for diorama, mostly just the signs. Hmm, don't know. It was a thought. I haven't got room for diorama. Got some Transformers. Prices are bloody terrible. Uh, I gather they're wrestling. I'm not into wrestling. Star Wars, these figures were so expensive. $59. Bloody hell. And then you got Iron Man stuff. If what, sorry. Or what if, I don't know. These Spider-Man thingies, like $19 for this. Oh, like, I cannot believe the prices. But while I was looking at these, I found something that will be in a video shortly. So this was today's haul. Um, I went to Toy World first, where I found that, the two VWs, the Death and Sunny, and the Matchbox. Um, the two VWs are part of the set that I've been chasing, which is all to do with this set. Um, sit on the back. Um, I've got everything bar this T2 flat tray, ute, whatever you like to call it. Um, and I bought one online because I'm one of those people that's got to have the full set. I'll stick a picture up here now of it. So that'll make the full set of that. I've got the caddy. This thing is absolutely bloody gorgeous. I love it. I wish we had caddies over here in Australia because I like VWs, I like utes, and this would be my vehicle. Oh, there's a lot of vehicles that would be my vehicle, but I think this is awesome. I've got the Sirocco GT racing car. It's got R on the side. I don't know whether it's an R line. I mean, Volkswagens now have an R line out, but it's got GT24. I think it's a 2.4. I don't know. I'm not going to say any more, but Sirocco. If you ever see a Sirocco in life, in real life, they are gorgeous. I love them. But then I love all VWs. So, yeah, this is yeah another great looking car here didn't have tampos on the tail lights but just awesome love it then we've got the Datsun Sunny or in Australia it was a, a Datsun 1200 ute not a truck they're only tiny very tiny and a lot of people in, in Australia stick a rotary motor in them like you have a Mazda this is Absolutely brilliant part of the uh, 
Japanese Historics Series 3, um, Car Culture, Real Riders, Metal on Metal. Oh, I've got one to get to finish this set. And the one I've got to get is that. And honestly, everyone goes around and just grabs that out of the, uh, the set and then put it online. So I think I'm going to have to buy it online to get the full set. But yeah, well, yeah, that's just another awesome little car. Love it. And while I was at Toy World, I picked up this Willie's Jeep. And we're going to open that one up. So I open up all the boxed ones. You can't find these hanging on the pegs. Well, that's a bit different. It hasn't got the, uh, the plastic around it. I mean, it hasn't got the... Oh, the hell? It's in a plastic bag. If you've seen my other openings, they don't have that. Hang on, we'll just get the scissors out. There you go. This is not a bad little casting, is it? I actually like this. This is pretty bloody cool. The steering wheel looks like shit, but yeah. It's even got the uh, windscreen wipers. That's nice. I like that. That is cool. Yeah. And then when I went to Target, I got the... There was nothing there. Like on the pegs. But I got the Dumachini Veloce. And this is, I've already got three of them. This is a recolor. Oh, I love the color on this. Oh, I think it's absolutely bloody gorgeous. Um, you know, okay, flash. Oh, I think this looks great. Oh, I love this color on this car. I mean, it's sort of, I don't know what the car is supposed to be. Like a, a representation of. I don't know. I won't even guess. But this, yeah, that colour, that's a nice colour. I like that. 72 Stingray Convertible. Look, this is, oh, I'm not really into Corvettes, but I was watching a channel and, like, they, they showed something pretty bloody cool. And what it's got to do with is that little spot there. So what we're going to do is crack this one open and I'll show you what I mean. Look at the headlights there. You can see they're clear. And if you have a look underneath here, that spot there, apparently if you shine a light, the headlights will shine. So we're going to try it out. I'll have to turn the lights off. See how we go. This is not showing it that well, but check out the headlights. Hey, eh? oh, I never knew that. I can't remember who bloody showed it, but that is absolutely so cool. I love it. Well done. Whoever thought that one up, that's a good one. So that's it for this little bit of a haul. Um, not too bad at all. I like that little Jeep. I think that's cool. Um, I like them all. Just, yeah. Anyway, that's all. Hooroo!